Hey folks, Angry Gun Nerd here, doing a video for you today about the RG3 by Rome. I recently got two of these off a of gun broker and uh, thought I'd make a video. These do not shoot any kind of projectile, these are blank firing guns. So, no paperwork here in the United States, just go and get them. Not a big deal, I got these shipped to me right through the mail and uh, they don't shoot anything except for blanks. So. Um, it's really heavy. I kind of like these. We have safety. Red is dead, as usual. Red means you can bang, bang, bang. So, what I wanted to show you folks here is just how this thing works. It's kind of weird. It's old. You don't see them every day. Just something I thought I'd show to you folks. So, we have got a hole on this side, got a hole on this side too. And the holes are pointing you get this little screwdriver. They're pointing downward like that. So I'm pretty sure that's where the sound comes out from the blanks. Let me show you how this thing works. So we got a square thing there, and then back here, we got another square thing. So what I'm going to do is this doesn't have any blanks in it right now. Just pull the trigger a few times. Oh, look what just came out of the back. Arr. Pull this out. Arr. You're coming with me. Stupid thing. You get a screwdriver in here. I'll pop this baby out. All right, cool. It's a little dirty. All right. So, got this out of the gun. Now, this is really nicely machined, and it's got a little spring on the side, and that kind of holds it in place inside the gun and we've got six little places here for the six millimeter Flobert blanks to go not 22 short blanks six millimeter Flobert it's a shorter blank than just a regular 22 blank so the way this is loaded is you pop in your blanks hold the gun upside down and then feed this in until it clicks like that and then you see it's in the front there start pulling the trigger each time you pull the trigger it's going to push it backward a little bit and then let off another blank. Two, three, four, five, six. So now all six of them have been, you know, shot. Another time, and it pops out the back. Now I've got to clean inside this cavity to see exactly what I can do about making this come out a little easier than prying it out with a screwdriver. But it's got little slots on both sides. A great place to put your fingers to pull it out. So the blanks themselves are these right here. As you can see, they are a lot smaller than a regular 22 blank. And how fitting. This is Rome. This is RG. So, something kind of cool. Oh, one other feature. We've got this little thing that pops out of the front. And it doesn't actuate anything. I think the only reason this is here is probably to push out the shell casings from the blanks out of that, that little stripper clip thing that we had and just kind of pop them out, move it over, pop it again, move it over, pop it again to get the uh, the spent ones out. So, kind of neat design, neat size, it feels good, it's nice and heavy. Um, quality is really nice, nicely finished, everything fits really nicely. So, I'm actually really surprised in the quality of this thing. It feels like a real gun, it really does. So, it's really hard for me to say that RG made anything of quality, but it kind of seems to be. So. If you find one of these, pick it up, because it's just neat to have. So that's it, folks. Hope you enjoy the video, and uh, I'll be doing some more.